What's up everybody, Brett here back today playing some more Humankind and we're gonna pick up right where we left off last time. We had unlocked our first civics and man I got lost in the sauce at the end of last episode. I was planning on recording an hour-long video. Ended up going I think a little over 25 minutes or something longer than that. Happens man, I was having so much fun in the game I just couldn't help myself and, you know, it's almost like those mobile games where, <laughs> like, they're like, here's ten free tokens, and here's a hundred, you know, whatever coins, and here's platinum bars and gems and all that stuff. They start throwing just jank mechanics at you so that they hope that you keep playing. Uh, this game wasn't doing that exactly, but they were just bombarding me, I felt like, with new mechanic after new mechanic, and I was trying to, whew, just keep my head above water. But now we're here. We learned a lot in the first episode, uh, and I think I, I mean, I had plenty of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, we have an opportunity to choose our first civic. So a first civic is available for you to vote on. Civics are made available based on the current game context and are voted or canceled using influence. Understood. So I don't have a lot of influence. So, I mean, at the moment, I just used a bunch to make some cities. So I wonder if I'll even be able to do this. Oh, I can. These are very cheap. Okay. So right now, founding myths. By what right do we rule? When voting a civic, you can choose either option, but each path might affect the empire in numerous areas, diplomacy, religion, economy, military, etc. Civics can even unlock new game mechanics. In addition to these effects, all civics affect the ideology of an empire and the resulting bonuses. And I think that's where we start getting into this. We get collectivism versus individualism, and we'll read those in a second. Homeland versus world. Liberty versus authority. And then tradition versus progress. So if we choose this one, natural right, progress gets pushed farther to the right and tradition starts falling behind. So the choices taken emphasize changing how things are done, searching for new ideas, questioning tradition, etc. That would be natural right. Uh, and it gives us plus five influence on main plaza. That seems pretty good. Um, and then there's also... Divine Mandate. Our supremacy is ordained, for we are the chosen ones. Uh, and that one pushes us closer to traditional, which gives us plus five stability on all cities, and plus two faith on territory. And this one gives us plus five stability, but science on city or outpost. Huh. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go... Let me see if they give me another message. Time to vote. You can vote for your first civic now, provided you have enough influence. Otherwise, come back later. Well, thankfully, I have just the right amount. I'm going to go with natural right. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. Next up would be legitimacy. No decision has been made on this civic yet. Selected to display the choices offered by this civic. And I need 16, which is not a lot. We'll be able to get there, I think, pretty soon. Uh, customary laws. Historical precedent and tradition serve as the basis for our judgment. Man, I wish I had had this minus 50% on create out, up, outpost cost, rather, tongue twister, uh, simply because I uh, I just made one, <laughs> and it would have probably saved me a lot of influence. Uh, the other one, however, minus 20% on attach outpost cost, and minus 20% on absorb city cost. Interesting. So, by what style of laws does the Empire use? Customary laws or codified laws. We don't have enough to deal with this anyway, so we're, we're just gonna back out of there. Let's just take a look at where we are on some of these objectives. We didn't really go over these very much. Uh, we are in the ancient era, basically era two of, what is that, seven? So, only 20 fame. Just kinda going over the, the stuff here. Militarist stars, we've only beaten one unit. We have Three of the nine territories attached to our cities. 162 of 600 influence. Have six districts built within your empire. Yep, we're only at one of those. Yeah, we've got to research technologies. Um, I think we're going to hit the agrarian stars first. Before we hit anything else. Our technology right now. Uh, we're almost done with carpentry. It'll give me the ability to clear forests for industry. Uh, it'll give me a lumber yard, which gives us industry on forests and woodlands. And then the ability to build archers, which I think is going to be quite valuable. And probably lead them to upgrade to different things 
in the future. Okay. And I think that's it, guys. Remember also that we were able to rush... Oh yeah, we're going to be able to get that next turn. We're at bonus 22. Let's see, we've got our scouts here. We've got our... What are these guys called again? The Promachoi? They're here. They just they just beat the hell out of an elk. Um, and then lastly, I think we have one other unit up top scouting for us. The scroll speed is killing me, Smalls. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to mess with this mastodon. Not today. Uh, yeah. All right, let's end the turn. I think we're good. Acknowledge. You know what I did want to check? We've got two hundred and forty-three gold. Yeah, expediting some of this stuff is quite expensive. I wish you would tell me what it would cost to buy these outright. Let me see. Does it say here? No. Okay. I don't want to interrupt this building here. And I do want to keep getting more and more food. Let's end the turn. I think everything is going quite well. And carpentry is researched. The art of woodworking is essential for bow making and lays the foundation for future construction. Uh, and I do want to build a lumber yard if I have the forest tile for it. Um, let's see. Let's just see where we could build it. Oh, uh, it won't show me. Okay. Oh, no, it's under infrastructure. Okay, I was thinking it was a district for some reason, but it is not. It is not a district. And I guess the reason why I keep... What does this mean? Oh, it's not yet under my cultural influence yet. Okay. Not yet. I keep thinking that these are cities that can build their own stuff, but they're not. In order to upgrade them as cities, I need a ton of influence. And I think I would have to detach them first. But it doesn't tell me, and this is something else I don't like. Uh, it doesn't tell me how much it would cost for me to upgrade it to a city, so I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I think it's in the, like, the 150 range in influence. So I... I've got a couple more turns at least before I need to start rethinking the attachments there. I'm on it. Come up here. What is this? Oh, I see now. Yeah, I've got the edge. I think we fight him. Let's instant, instantly resolve it. And we get five gold for that, but... We also get a little bit closer, you know, in veterancy. Let's go. Follow me. And they're going to need to heal up quite a bit more before they're able to do anything else. Make sure we scout all the coastline. And animal reigns, more influence, and more science. Excellent. What is our next technology? I had something already pre-picked, I guess. Yeah, we want... We want all this stuff. I, th I think we just get focus on getting all the cheap stuff. All right. It's not very focused. If we knew exactly what we wanted, we could plan out some very strategic uh, technology researches. But I just that's that's not a thing yet for us. I think we just grab everything and and see what opportunities avail themselves. Keep together. Surprised I didn't see anything useful out here keep exploring. It says to end the turn, but we do have an opportunity to do this. So, let's enact codified laws. Laws will be debated, classified, and codified for perpetuity. And that will bring me closer to this. So, more science. You can already see we're starting to move off center, man. Just imagine. Once you discover writing, you can literally throw the book at them. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay. Let us end the turn. We're going to get another population. It's going to go into technology. And that should help speed up some of this. Yeah, the wheel was in the 30s. Now it's only 16. So it looks like we've doubled the speed of our tech research. Which is nice. But we don't want our tech research... 
to outpace our ability to even build this stuff. Like right now, we can't even build as fast as as all that. Uh, we need to get, let's see, this is taking five turns. If I move you here, it takes four turns. I feel like that's not worth it considering we're getting double speed uh, there. Okay, now we just move our stuff again. Move our guys. Yep, we want that. Let's go there. And we're just keeping to the coastline. We're scouting out this uh, this continent that we found ourselves on. And I was very proud of myself for going from coast to coast here in the last episode. And I think that was a good move. Off we go. God, I hope the Macedons don't disappear. I hope they just stick around for the entire game. Um, let's see. I can go... Yeah, that's a way faster, better way for me to be doing that. I don't like that I'm missing a little chunk there. Over this way. But we're looking, I mean, we're looking for anything. Anything of import. We're not missing much. I mean, we're, we've got a little fog of war going. And let's end the turn again. Yeah, we've got enough population to go ahead and make the... The militia guys, but I don't really want to do that either. Nice, more gold. And we can move in here and fight these guys. Oh, I guess we can't fight them this turn. And if they converge up here, we'll group them together. They're a little bit safer together and they can even take down, uh, you know, more stuff together, get more veterancy. What do we have here? Have you not... Oh, I guess we could attack. I feel like I'm taking more damage than I might otherwise. I feel like losing men to that feels bad. Okay. We didn't get any veterancy though for killing the deer. We barely, I mean, we barely got anything. But at least we're using our unit for something. Alright, our tech is done. Excellent. Calendar researched. Now that they are living in permanent settlements, villagers want to track the changes of the seasons and organize the planting of crops. So we have unlocked the artisan quarter and the granary. And we'll check those out when we have an opportunity to build something new. Uh, let's see what our next research is going to be. Domestication. Yeah, we want to have the ability to have horses, animal barns for more food. And then scout riders. Public fountains, hmm. We could probably make good use of harbors. Masonry... Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I want... Domestication, please. And we're going to keep exploring a little bit further south, and then I'm probably going to turn around and, and scoop back the other way. I want to go a little bit wider than that. Alright, let's move you first. Okay. Create your religion. Pick the base of your people's belief. Polytheism plus five faith per number of attached territories. And plus one faith per population for shamanism. Hmm. I wonder which one... It looks like they're pretty well balanced. I wonder which one is good for the future. Uh, I feel like shamanism in the future just tons of population. But let's go polytheism. If you're going to believe in one god, you might as well believe in a whole bunch of cool ones. That's what I always say. Oh, nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go back, double back here and find that. And we'll let those dudes explore on their own, maybe. Palisade's still not quite done. We've got some growth. Yeah, I like that it's, it's in industry as our secondary one. And we have a holy site. A holy site is available for construction. Holy sites are key to producing faith, thereby gaining more followers for your religion, as well as unlocking religion tenets. 
Holy sites, just like cultural wonders, are shared projects that can be built by several cities at once, speeding up production. Okay. I feel like I need so much. And our influence is stacking, which is good. We'll be able to detach this soon. Probably go for uh, Wasat first. And we might rename those soon as well. Has everyone moved? Yes. Alright, let's end the turn. And that's it. We've kind of discovered the bounds of our territory. I think we see water in just about every direction. So we've got northward to expand quite easily. So all the more reason for me to explore south. Domestication research. The taming and breeding of wild animals such as pigs and buffalo bring new meanings. New means of eating and working, rather. Okay. Mount Vesuvius has been discovered, and we gained 30 science for that. Awesome. Is this it right here? Probably. One of the scientist stars has been earned. Excellent. Era stars cover the seven gameplay affinities and have three objectives per era, each unlocking an era star when fulfilled. Once an era star is unlocked, a new objective unlocks for the related affinity and so on, allowing you to earn a maximum of 21 stars per era. So we've only got one there. But that works for me. And we also have Faith to mess with now. I'm going to go for... Hmm. Man, I love getting roads. I just feel like maybe it's a little too early. Market quarters, copper, forges, watchtowers. Hmm. Let's go for fishing. And let's check this out. Tenets. Tenets are representations of the principles and commandments of a religion that you can unlock when your religion has enough followers. Each tenet has a specific gameplay effect that reflects its inspiration. The meter below indicates how many more followers you need to unlock the next tenet. State religion. Below the name of your state religion, you will find key information. I guess we can rename that too. We can get our own religion. The religious leader is always the empire with the religion as state religion that controls the majority of its holy sites. Holy sites are specific districts that increase the faith of their affiliated regions in a territory they are erected. Followers are the inhabitants of a city that follow a specific religion. Okay. So if we go to tenant screen, we have no ability to unlock any of these. We're too far away from this. So we'll just jump out of this for now. No reason to hurt our heads reading about something that we have absolutely no ability to to engage with yet oh but we will when the time comes we'll name our religion and, and do something fun with it two turns left here show me what you got Good, more science, more influence. Let's go. And then you guys come here. We could always try to get another outpost. But I don't think that's what we need to do just yet. Send you there. And Mount Vesuvius, man. Very cool. Another 40 gold. We're rolling in gold now. Alright, Mount Vesuvius. What does it say? A smoldering presence dominating the skyline, inspiring awe and fear in equal measure. First discovered by the, the Nubians. Oh, damn. If you control it, you get plus 5 influence, plus 10 stability on city or outpost, and plus 10 money on the outpost. So that's a lot of incentive to try and control natural wonders. Unfortunately, I don't think I've discovered any near me. Um, and it would be a pretty big flex for me to try and go and take that. Alright, all of our units have moved. At some point, we're going to start leveraging all this gold we have to expedite how fast we build stuff. 
Like, I can finish this right now, a turn ahead of schedule, and I think I will. Boom. We now have walls around our city. That feels pretty good. Uh, if we want the infrastructure... We can unlock an extra... F Are these farmer slots? Is that what this is? Hmm. So much I need to learn, guys. Because this city, I feel like it sucks for agriculture. But I could just be wrong. Come over here, maybe. Yeah, like these, look at the yields on this. This is so much better. Let's do that. Look how expensive it is, too. Damn. Let's get a couple districts down. We do need to do that. And from there... Everybody moved, correct? Yes. Let's end our turn. Oh, we discovered... What did we discover? You discovered the breathtaking... Takan... Huh. Takaina Forest? I'm not familiar with that one. Where is it? Huh. Let's go. Is it just this whole region? Or is it one specific tile that's designated as like a unique tile? I don't see anything that stands out. Over this way. Let's go here. In the turn. I want to see if there's a tile there. High Mount converted to a new religion. Nice. Yeah, and there we go. We see the progress on the bar. Come over here. Alright, you guys can start healing up. See, and now we can finish the farmer's quarter if we want. We have an event. The pecking of poultry. The art of divination spreads across the empire. Priests search... For messages from the gods and animal entrails, the flights of birds, the wheeling of the stars and holy de decoctions, and elsewhere. Now, however, the practices have become so commonplace, so bizarre, that the whole empire is sliding towards chaotic superstition. Even the eating patterns of chickens are being interpreted by military commanders. What to do? Okay. If we embrace it, we get stability plus 10 for 10 turns. I don't think stability is an issue in our empire. We don't really need this. Uh, forbid, we get bonus faith. Divinations outside the officially sanctioned means are pure superstition and must be forbidden. And then we also have reason. We'll get science. We must use logic and experimentation to discern the true methods of divination. I'm going to go with science. I hope that's what I would say in real life. Tuh. Look, you guys are dumb. Please, please cut it out. All right. So this is what I've been wanting to do. We're going to detach here. Cannot be done on a connecting territory. I can detach this one. I bet I have to detach this one than this one. Hmm. Okay. Let's detach. The territory will cease to produce resources for High Mountain. You will have to pay to reattach it. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. I kind of want to save the game and make sure I don't mess this up. Let's do that. Let's just save. Turn 35. Resume. Let's see how this mechanic works. We detach. Yes. Evolve it into a city. Yes. But you'll see we lost progress on our building. And now it has its own construction queue, which is what we want. Got it. Okay, let's reload. Now that we know how that works. This is why we experiment. Because what I can do is I can spend my gold to finish that farmer's market. Set him up for success. 
or that farm. I guess it's probably just a farm, right? Set them up for success. Detach it. Turn it into its own city. Because I think ideally we want all of these to be their own cities at some point. Let's finish the farmer's quarter. Boom. Love it. Then let's detach. Yes. It becomes a normal outpost. And then we make it into its own city. I think that's what we're supposed to do. That way everything can start building for itself. Everything can start making its own stuff. Hmm. I do want to increase stability. Let's... Man, 16 turns is a lot of turns. Um, I want to do things that give them food. They need... Yeah, they... Once they start making food, they'll have... A bit of a snowball effect, I believe, on the food resource. And we'll start making guys faster. We'll start being able to put other dudes in industry and things like that. So these numbers are subject to change. Let's maybe make another pottery workshop. Resource access. One or several constructibles cannot be built as you don't have enough access to the required resources. Obtain more access by building new extractors or by trading those resources with other empires. Fine. Yeah, I don't have access to any horses yet. I don't know where the nearest horses are. But I'm okay with that move. If you guys are like watching at home and you're already pro at this game, I mean, feel free to let me know that I'm messing this all up. But... I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm tempted to make another outpost up here. Yeah, we're going through some pretty rough terrain. They have Kerma. What do you want now? Buy a resource. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Am I not claiming, like, any resources right now? Did I... Is my empire, like, in such a spot that, like, I can't... Weird, like, I dodged all the natural resources that I could have taken. You guys... Hmm. Everyone's moved, right? Okay. We are good to go. What do we have here? Yes, we need a new construction project just for them. Which is what we've been wanting. We don't have a lot of units, which I'm kind of worried about, but I, I, I'm loving the extra... Oh, I don't have enough slots there. Okay. I'm loving the, the population that we're getting. Let's get infrastructure. And, yeah. I think now we can safely end the turn. And we've got a new Civic coming up, it looks like. Okay, it hasn't popped up yet, I guess. Let's go. Another old horde, thank you. Some good regions. I just feel like I'm kind of close to some other areas. Uh -huh. right. Is there nothing else further in like this early direction? Or does an outpost have to be inside of this squiggly line here? That might be the case. I've got to be at least close enough to, to plop that down I suppose. Alright, now we have multiple cities and multiple things going. It feels good to have a plan. Eyes forward. Move out. Advance. Alright. Ooh. That's... 
Looks like maybe an outpost. Keep together. Makes sense. Makes sense that they would be building their outpost. I'm glad to know it's there, though. I'm on it. There we go. Let's go. Yes, nice. Multiple locations that we can uh, make some cash off of. And then let's end the turn. I don't know if we're at ma- oh, we are. We're at maximum city. City cap two of two. Well, good to know. And for our trouble, we got another group of warriors here. Hell yeah, which we can then promptly upgrade. Into our uh, special axe boys. Let's insta resolve that. Let's go. And then let's get back into our own territory. You guys can keep scouting around, whatever. Uh -huh. And we have researched fishing and we got another curiosity collected. Imagine not a single fish caught with a crude spear, but a net having or a net heaving with a writhing silver scaled catch. So fishery is something we can work on. But we're going to have to build harbors. I like it. And we're going to want to put markets next to the harbor. So that's something just to kind of consider. But we've got to start building out towards the ocean, I think. Uh, or else we're not going to be able to put those districts down. Harbors. You can now build a harbor to exploit coastal tiles and build ships. Careful though, you will not be able to navigate deep waters unless you have the right ships unlocked by technology research. Harbors and allow armies to embark and disembark without consuming their movement points. Excellent. So to build a harbor, you know, here, somewhere, or potentially even, well, we can't do it with the other, there we go. Yeah, these are, these are kind of nice. Get ourselves a harbor there. Start putting markets next to it. I think that's the general idea, right? The grainer will be done soon. So hard to know whether or not that's the right thing to do. Are we losing population? Oh, no, we are. We need food. I guess that's why we're building the granary. And then we'll, as quick as we can, get more grain built. Or more farms built, rather. Okay. What do we have left? Ah, we need our research. Irrigation. I mean, it seems like anything to do with food. Food on a river? Okay. I've got stuff on rivers. Just go for that. And now we can end our turn. And we've gained some population. And we got another star. Awesome. And with that, we'll start growing our population even faster and faster. There's no point in detaching this outpost. Because we cannot make it into its own city, sadly. So many areas that I could go down. Man, you can, you can really focus on religion. Oh, wait. Go here. Go here. Too late. We'll bring these guys then. Let's finish that. Let us finish that. And then here... What do we want? None of these are all that great, right? We've already got the farms. Everything else is going to take a hot second. I think I just want to get the fortress. Wait a sec. The fortress counts as a maker's quarter. Okay. 
Not as a market quarter, which I don't even have unlocked yet. Yeah, let's start building that. And that'll be done in 16 turns. And that'll make this city also much stronger. Considering we're not building very many units, I'm happy that we do have some Off we go. walls on our main cities. And some bonus fortifications. It feels kind of important. Over this way. We can go to this lair, but I'm expecting a bear to pop out that'll be strong enough to kill me. Um, what else do we have? In turn. One idle army. What do you gotta where you gotta go? Let's go. Uh you guys need to come up. That's okay. Let's move back come north. Right. Maybe they can link up and take out this layer. Move out. Oh, there's I mean there's the bear. Yeah, let's join up. Come on! Keep together. We have to ransack this, I think. Is how that works. 300. Yeah, I really don't even know what else to do with my gold. You know, clearly we're paying our our armies with it. And thankfully, you know, we don't have a lot of armies, so we're not spending a ton. But right now it seems like what gold is the most useful for, excellent, two of those in a turn is great, is for just uh, expediting all of our building. And we've got plenty of influence, I just don't know what to spend it on as of yet. I wonder if we should go and, let's see, try to trade some more with these guys. What do guys. you want now? Uh, I don't really want to buy it. Treaties. Could try to share maps. Open. Nah, I don't want to open borders. So, what do you say? <laughs> How could you think the answer would be yes? And that gave us another grievance. Very well. Your course is set. Treaty proposal refused. A grievance is a cause for demands or action in response to another empire's aggressive deeds towards you. When a grievance is triggered, the aggrieved side's war support increases. What you do with a grievance is up to you. Leverage or renounce them, but always think of the consequences. I can renounce it. Renounce to create a demand from this grievance. This injury should not go unpunished until your demands are accepted or withdrawn. All trade between your empires. Now we'll What's renounce. Done is done. You All right. See, I always feel like in these games when I try to do diplomacy, I just make everything worse. <laughs> everything just got worse. Okay, let's end the turn. A new wonder can be claimed. Each of these distinguished monuments can be a testament to humankind's power and ingenuity for millennia to come. Oh, damn. Build a new cultural wonder. I wonder how... Well, I wonder how we got to this point that we're able to do this. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Plus 20 stability, plus 100 fame. Extracts any luxury resource from the deposit it's built on. We don't have any of those, so this doesn't feel very good. It's an oasis of verdant, fragrant life in a parched land. These gardens offer a memorable place to host visiting dignitaries. We've got the Pyramid of Giza. A testament to human will and ingenuity, this marvel will surely dominate the landscape for millennia. Must be placed next to a river. Got it. Uh, minus 25% on district industry cost. I could see putting this near uh, my capital. We've got Stonehenge. Oh, God. Bonus food for core religion estates. Okay. This one gives a lot of food. It's considered a holy site, but doesn't count towards the cap. And then the Temple of Artemis gives a lot of stability 
and health regen. With a striking array of towering columns, the temple is befitting a temple as one of their gods. Hmm. I want the pyramids, guys. Can't help it. Claimed. May not be the best choice ever, but... Let's go for a manual battle here. Yeah, you guys go first. Go! Is that not quite a kill? Damn. Alright, you done. Wait, what do we get? Ten gold? Move out and move. Oh, I guess we can't move. Maybe we should have circled around them to get a little extra movement before we finish there. We've already got not much of anything for these forces to do. We might as well keep them searching for stuff. So to make the pyramid, man, it's a shared project. It'll take 54 turns. I wonder if that means uh, both my cities have to select it in order for it to be shared. And you know what? I wonder if doing this will get rid of some of our food demands. Let's do it. And it did. But it also wrecked my population. Oh, damn. It gave me four of these guys. And they're veterans. Yes, sir. Can I use them just like anything else? I mean, they're clearly... They're not very strong. That may have been a huge mistake, or it saved me from starvation. I don't know. But that's a full stack. And now that I have an army, I kind of want to go to war. Funny how that works, huh? And that gave me the militarist star that I needed. Because we are, we do have that affinity, and that's going to give me a ton of fame. Um, which... Damn, it's, it still only puts me in third place. I mean, fifth place, rather. If we want this, we've got to destroy more military units. You guys can go raid the lair. And ransack, correct? Maybe it's because I'm standing on it. I would assume, though, that I could ransack it even if I'm standing on it. Off we go. Let's, do this. Let's zoom in on these dudes and see what they look like. Ah. Uh, like peasants, man. I don't have a lot of conviction that they're going to be able to protect me. And you, gentlemen. We're going to level you up. And we're going to make another army with the sort of scraps that we have here. And we'll probably pull these two together and just have two... Two solid armies. I don't know. Feels like a good plan. Or at least a plan. Granary's almost done. Irrigation research. With a basic understanding of how the seasonal flooding of a river can be better controlled, water is no longer a matter only for the gods. Oh, man. Go get that, please. You guys go get that. Can we ransack this? 
for 22 gold. It would take one turn. Okay, now we know. We gotta get our next territory, or our next technology, rather. We got science for that. Our technology is going quite quickly because we're not even really able to keep up with all the stuff that we're researching. Okay, yeah, and they're ransacking, so we're good. We successfully plundered. Old Horde. More cash. These guys are full health. They're good to go do what they want. Six turns. No construction currently going. Let's do something like that. Let's build a harbor. That'll help with our food problem. And it'll, I'm sure, be good in the future. Go! Okay, we have one more. No, is that all the units? Yeah, okay. I want to get them back in there so that they can heal up a bit. But I think we're going to start pressuring, pressuring the Nubians. Yeah. Once we heal. Nice. Happy to see more population growth. Getting my money up a little bit, but I think we need to keep the actual population growing. And that, by positioning them, not only do they do a cool formation, uh, but that makes it so that I don't have to, like, keep constantly clicking on them. Because that's what I want them to do. I want them to sit there and heal. I could spend gold to make them heal, but that seems not as good. And I think I'm going to put an outpost somewhere down here. And we have the Flooded Lands. An unrelenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city of... Nosos and the surrounding lands. If the rains don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that threads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent quarters with limited time and resources. The choices are stark. What do you do? Gamble. Leave it to fate. Maybe the rains will cease. Chance of terrible consequences. Uh, adapt. Limited adaptation should mitigate the biggest risk, and the rains might relent in any case. Chance of bad consequences. Or protect, I can't even do that because I don't have the gold. An expensive dike will ensure the city is protected from any and all threats. I don't have the gold for this, so I wonder how, how do I even protect it. Oh, I can go negative. Didn't know that. I'll start losing stability, so I need to fix that as fast as possible. Got it. But if it's a chance for a good consequence, maybe that's just what we need. Five turns, four turns, and go. Bankruptcy, yep. That's not a that's not a thing I want to see. I didn't know bankruptcy was possible. If this is gold, we'll be super happy. It's not, not this time. Gold would have been pretty clutch, though. Can I ransack this? I guess not. You guys are chilling. I might only do this for one more turn. Oh, 
Oh, a double stack of animals. Double deer, huh? Let's move up and see if we can go attack these. We'll still recover HP while we're in our own territory. We're not recovering any extra HP in this stance. We just didn't have to worry about moving them. Yeah, they're going to run away, of course, but... See if we can catch them. Okay. 10 gold, we needed that, and now we're positive again. So no more stability issues. That was very much worth it for us. I'm wondering if our 8 units are enough to do anything militarily versus our opponent. Just keep scouting his border. Maybe we'll see some of his units. Come over here. Over this way. Classical era. Oh, geez. I guess maybe we're falling behind. We've got another event here. Oh, nice. The Great Dyke was constructed in rapid time at your behest, and a provident choice it turned out to be, too. The Deluge didn't relent, but despite the endless rains, Nosos and its people and property remained safe, only suffering some wet and shivering skin. Better yet, the farmland became even more fertile in the rain's aftermath. So that's 150 food that we generated for ourselves, and we didn't really suffer that much from the instability. And we now have a new civic, Army Composition. Blades of the Empire. As your horizons widen, your armies grow in lockstep with your ambitions. Now, with military power spread over several regiments, it is time to decide the nature of the soldiers who compose your armies. That's our first civic unlocked. Okay. Yeah, I got this. Okay. Army composition. Who should fight for the Empire? Conscripts. Conscripted warriors will save us the cost of raising soldiers from the crib. Uh, the major change, I guess... Uh, we'll get vision and detection range in our districts. Minus 30% on unit industry cost. Or we go professional soldiers, which gives combat strength to our unit. And sends us closer to liberty versus authority. Forge from the youngest age, professional warriors will give us stronger armies. I'm a big believer in professional soldiers. It Let's does do it. seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. That does seem logical, right? Cyclopean Fortress is almost done. And am I good? I think I'm good. Keep exploring. Follow me. And you guys are going to come and make me another outpost. I've got 324 influence. We'll do that very soon. A lot of industry up here, it looks like. And we've got another event. A melody for every occasion. In the teeming iconic city of Nosos, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history and holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals. Jo I know it's the word jolly. Jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to marching armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones. And now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders among others, are grousing that their city deserves such artists too. How will you satisfy them? Hmm. Muster. Street musicians riddle Nosos. They could help commerce everywhere, even if they distract learning. Parsimonious on two cities for ten? So we gain money but lose science? Chance of unexpected consequences for both of these. Or build. Every city... 
will be required to build an institution of music where we can teach new performers. That'll put me really far in the negative, uh, which I have no way of bouncing back from quickly like I did last time. Uh, though I like the effects more. I'm going to go ahead and muster. I hate losing science, but I don't really have a good choice there, I feel. My city is idle, though. We can start doing something else here. What should we do? I don't want to ruin my population. Production, not great. Food, very good. Start getting that going. And in turn. Your first harbor. Oh, first nice, my harbor trade. finished. Voyages of exploration. You will see many things out of this tiny window onto a huge world. And we also finished researching masonry. With the ability to hew rocks into precise blocks held together with mortar, buildings can last centuries instead of years, transforming the character of cities. And we got another arrow star. And an event. A game of prophecy. With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population. Everywhere you go, the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye. Insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under instruction in your palace court, but the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gas could be heard as the game's prophecy became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Silence. If this prophecy spread, the results could be devastating. Every witness should be paid off. I don't have the cash. Overlook. Let the people gossip. The prophecy will soon be proved false. Defiant on high mount. Uh, our stability is going up, so I could afford to take a hit, but it's for 10 turns. So that's minus 50 stability. Or superstitious. Minus 20 science. You must listen to the divination and prepare for the worst. Ugh. Nah, screw it. You ain't, you ain't telling me what to do. Defiant to the end. One idle army. Yep. Yep, yep. You guys are going there. We already know. You lucky gentlemen. I mean, there's really nowhere for you to go. Oh, no. I can't, I can't cross your oh, borders. Go. Okay. We'll, we'll just scout back around. Oh, there we go. That's, that's right. something to go look at. And then no construction being done right now. With the harbor. We can get bonus food on harbor. Let's get some bonus food, I guess. I'm basically trying to understand which districts work, work with which infrastructures work with which tiles, right? That's the kind of the game that we're playing here. And I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. I think most of it's common sense. Ugh, our, net, our technology is not going great right now. Because our science is so low. I guess we'll go for bronze. doesn't feel great. Our science is kind of falling behind. Nice. More population growing back for High Mount. Hmm. I'll lose a little cash. Let's go. Move here, make an outpost. Very good. It'll take a turn to do that. And then we'll probably move over here and make another one. Let's go. Thank you for the science. 
That just boosted our bronze working by a ton. Thank God we've been collecting all these. Seems rather important. Could do militarist again and get another army. Seems a bit excessive. Our stability is still quite high despite the uh, the setbacks. Uh, the Olmecs just chose a new culture as well. I'm hoping there's a territory over here for us to take, but it doesn't look like there is. I think we had to go inside these lines. Or maybe there's a maximum number of outposts and cities that I've reached. I don't know. Either way, guys, we are at an hour already. Man, time is flying. Let's do this event first. So, oh man. Music has flourished across the Empire in light of your choice to hire street musicians. Of course, the style is more chaotic than formal, but the sounds are energetic, alive, and ever-evolving. New instruments emerge all the time. The exciting, turbulent musical culture is well-established. So, Jingle Jangle. Music is not some sacred art for the few. Everyone should be free to pursue their talents. Which has pushed me towards, uh... What is it? Liberty? Yes, towards liberty. Okay. That's all good. This needs to be attached. Mutinous. This city is now mutinous. Only constructions that improve the stability can be built. Thread carefully, as a city might now be subject to revolt. In the event of a revolt, some of the population of the city will be lost, becoming a nearby rebel army. Extracting resources. Resources are naturally occurring deposits of valuable commodities. Ones with a natural or economic interest are luxury resources, while those of strategic relevance are strategic resources. Empire set up access to a resource by constructing an outpost in the territory where the resource is found then building an extractor district onto the resource got it outpost management from an outpost empires can exploit all the resource deposits in the territory the associated extractor costs industry when queued but can be bought out with money or influence to be built a resource deposit exists in this territory select the extractor building just okay Boom. So this is now... The Nubians have special interest in this place. I guess so. But it's... I mean, it's mine. This place... We want to attach it... To Nosos. Yeah. Yeah. A city can attach an outpost if they are adjacent by paying a certain amount of influence. The cost is based on the number of outposts already attached to the city. Note that attaching a territory will have an impact on your city's stability. Got it. And there we go. And I'm hoping that will spread my influence further so that I can maybe come over here and start taking stuff. All right, all my armies have moved. I'm going to roll one more turn, guys, and then we're going to call it for the day. Game is addicting. Just like Civ was for me all those years ago. Okay, what's going on? You have a trade route with this empire. Great. You now benefit from its FEMS bonuses, and you might also be able to build special units and infrastructures. But trade routes can be fragile. All the neutral territories the route goes through have roundhouses, which can be destroyed by ransacking armies. Extractors can also be ransacked. Cities can be besieged, and buyers and sellers might go to war. In all of these cases, the trade route will be broken, but of course, you can also break others' trade routes. Access to your gold was purchased by the Nubians for 90 gold. If you know the position of a tile containing an exploited luxury or strategic resource, you can buy access to this resource if it belongs to an empire with which you can trade. You will cover trade in more detail soon. Okay, so they bought access to my gold. I can come here 
and buy access to their horses if I want. Their saffron, their ambergris, uh, which is, I think, whale vomit or something like that. Uh, trade. Trading allows you to access resource owned by someone. Okay. How much do I have to pay? I don't see its price. Okay. Naval transport. Use land and sea routes, but prefer transport by sea whenever possible. This is cheaper. So I get permanent access to saffron. I could see this being useful if, let's say, I wanted to build uh, chariots, but I don't have access to horses. I don't know what the, the total benefit is of me having saffron. We get stability and food. I mean, I've got enough money. Sure. A first trade link. So many interesting questions arise. Barter or currency? Exchange rates? Tolls? I think we can undertake a common venture. Do you agree? You thought I would buy this? Get out of my sight. I'm going to so demand will you it. you yield or die? Enough Violence has rot. temporarily halted your purchase of saffron. Acknowledge. Oh, did I just screw myself? I bought saffron and then blocked. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's what it seemed like happened. We'll resume here. I'm not going to, like, reload from an earlier, like, last turn or something. That's a little lame. But uh, I feel like we just learned a lesson. Maybe we'll be able to bully them into, you know, accepting that. And maybe we won't. I don't know. There's no amazing place, it looks like, to throw an outpost. Seventeen. I mean, I'm, I'm able to get some combination of resources here. That's not bad. I think we can do that. And guys, I think that's going to be it for me today. Whew, another another long episode. Hope y'all are enjoying the series. Mistakes and all. Uh, that way, whenever you guys play on your own terms, you don't make the same mistakes I do. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to keep playing it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.